Okay, ready? Illusion Carnival. This game contains flashing lights and rapidly changing images, which can trigger photosensitivity, epilepsy, or other similar symptoms. If you have a history of epilepsy or seizures, consult with the doctor before playing. If you experience dizziness, visual abnormalities, switching, lo loss of consciousness, discomfort, or pain while playing, stop immediately and seek medical advice. Well, that's quite the warning. Use wands to move, use the mouse wheel to zoom in, and hold drag and left mouse button to look around. Alright, so wands to move around, drag mouse to look around, and zoom in and out. Use a double click the left mouse to, res to reset your view. Okay. Can I touch that? No. Can I touch this? No. This is cute! Oh. Confetti. Alright, what's this about? Walk up to other characters and press space to start conversations. Okay. Hello. I'm just but a little flame. Hey, 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 we have a visitor here. What? Uh oh! Another visitor has arrived? Welcome! Hey, kid. Do you not happen to have a ticket? No worries at all. For lost souls, we offer our services free of charge. Would you like to get your ticket to Confettia now? Sure. So, what should we call you? Please enter my name. Paper. My name's Rai. Oh, crap. Oh, hold on. Okay. That's my name. Rye. Good. I'll remember that. Are you sure about this name? Ask for another? Not Jim. Jeff. That's interesting. How many times can we... You know, I'll just put Rye. Yes. Here's a present for you, a special paper craft. Be sure to take good care of it. Thank you. And as a special gift for all of our visitors, we have prepared unique costumes for dressing up. Really? What's that? I can't even see. Oh. A hat? I'm... Enjoy the park as a lovely paper boat, and don't ever get lost again. Okay. We're going to confetti, guys. Wow, so exciting. This is really cool. I like I like the the visual effects. Whoa. Oh heck yeah. Sorry, hold on. Uh. Resume, please. Oh man. Wow. Shift to turn into a paper boat and dash. Wow, I look so cute. Crazy thought. Magically turned you into a hedgehog. Point redeem. I have to figure out how to do that. I think I can do that with Warudo. I don't know how I can do it with VC face just yet, though. But that, that is something I'll definitely look into. If that's something that you guys want to just toggle me into a hog at any moment's time, we can definitely do that. But anyway, I'm a cute, cute person. Get closer to objects with stars to investigate. What's the point of this? It's like... Okay, anything with stars to investigate. Alright. Oh. Tips for lost souls. There's so many weird guys here. Oh. So don't be afraid. They will be glad to show you a round. I have 32k points. I want to do something fun with them. <laughs> surely. Surely we'll, we'll have a way for, for you to spend those points. 
There's something on the back of the note. Looking forward to seeing you in person. On the back of the note. Looking forward to seeing you in person. That's kind of. What do I do? This is so cool. Oh! Other places. A building block with a number on it. You touch it, noticing that it's soft. It doesn't have any sharp edges. You guess it could be a, pil uh, a pillow shaped. Your guess? You guess it could be a pillow shaped like a block. How are we liking confetti, guys? It's pretty baller, I think. Can I touch this? No, I guess not. What's this? A gift box that beckons you to open it, and it's just the right size for you. Yeah, open it. Jeez, the ribbon on the box is hairy. Then you realize this is soft, fluffy, stuffed toy. See, what do you find underneath? A key. Tab to open. A plastic key with a toy-like texture. Double click or press number keys to use. Oh, okay. What else we got? Anything back here? Just the darkness, okay. Oops, can I open this? No. There's anything back here, right? Okay. One of my friends has a throw object at Tree Point Radium I use every time I join. <laughs> That's cool. Cotton candy comes out of the chimney. The sugary smell might sweeten your teeth off if you still had any. You realize that none of the items here are what they seem. Hmm. Can I eat this? Lego. See what you found? A toy block. 1k too little, 10k too much. I think I think 5k is good enough. Uh, a pat? You pat it with your paper arm. Imagine the pain it is in. Ouch. You notice that the color on the block has been dyed onto it as the paint comes off into your arm. Oh. Am I just colored red now? Oh. A lock with a toy-like texture. Use the key. Nice. Hmm? Hello? What are you? Hello, come back over here. Oh, good night. I don't know, do I want you to touch me? Is that a bad touch? I don't, I don't know. Do I- do I let that thing touch me? It has an eyeball on it. Hmm... Alright, alright. I don't know if I want you to touch me, bro. Well... Oh, good lord. It's starting to catch up. Alright, fine. Touch me. Surprise! The colorless Rai, our protagonist, has finally arrived at the stage. You're cute. Who are you? I am Dillerini. I shall be your tour guide. I will guide you in your journey through Confetia. But first, I prepared a little opening performance for you. First act, the protagonist perishes. Spikes! 
chainsaws, round chainsaws. Rise, stop hiding, and brace your ending in the splendid welcome from Confetti. Tia? I'm just a paper. Why is it my business if you two are having fun? No, oh, you're you've been the one that was running away? Who are you? Well, why can't I still speak? Oh, does it take this long to die? Our visitor Rai, who just entered Confetti, has already faced with Huh? Who are you? Demetria. Oh, Demetria. Huh? What? Where did you- Where are you- huh? Is it- Why are we having a second visitor? Don't mind me. The second one should die in a second. Huh, nice try, but look at yourself. Have you ever felt pain up until now? You guys speak so fast. Didn't I bleed out to the point that I can no longer feel pain? Wait, there's not even a single wound? Is I peeled for real? Why didn't I feel anything? Yes, yes, why? Because... We're already dead? Quality problems with your gadget. I assume we're already dead. Not there yet. Oh, never mind. In order to die from wounds, one should at least have a physical body, shouldn't they? But here is just your souls. Of course you can never get hurt, nor can you die of physical wounds. Your flesh and blood are safe and sound in the world above. Above? Then this place must be... Limbo? Oh. <laughs> this is neat. So, we're all ghosts after all. <laughs> Just kidding. This is the place between the underworld and the mortal world. If the underworld and the mortal world are the two pieces of meat of a burger, then the place would be the bun in the middle. What? Two pieces of meat of a burger. That this place would be the bun in the middle. Oh, like a double... Like one of those double burgers. Huh? Ah. Wrong word order. In short, no one can die here, right? Indeed, no one can die here anyway, so let's do it again! Oh. Okay. Alright. Fine. Do it again. Oh my god, I'm so flat. I'm just but a paper. See? Amazing, isn't it? You can hardly find your way without a guide in Confetia, with all these unusual paths. Where did you take us? Why did you attack us, Demetria? What's wrong with his head? Oh, it's a dude? It's Delarini a dude? What's wrong with his head? I'm still inspecting. So am I. Huh. Talking to you reminds me of the last visitor on my tour. What happened to that person? What happened? What? Well, uh, What did you say? Oh, by the way, before your tour starts officially... Have you ever thought about how amazing it is to be immortal? Your adventures can last forever! Does that mean if we can't find the exit, we'll be stuck here forever? Well, not that there aren't any other ways, but I think it's a bit too early for that. Because if compared to death, there's something worse. Souls won't suffer physical deaths, however, souls still have spirits. And your spirit is eroded completely, it will collapse. You will fall into utter madness, and there's no way back. However, no one will die here. You can only lose your sanity, but never learn, never your life. What happens to that endless madness, I wonder? Listen carefully. It's a carnival of spiritual death only. Dear visitors, this is the end of our guided tour. From now on, every step you take in the park, every joy and sorrow you share, will become your very own story. So I hope you embrace the world most delightful of emotions and have a nice tour. Oh. Oh! How much spirit we have! Oh, left. Oh, good lord. Oh! Oh! Demetria! Run, Demetria! Okay. Um, 
I assume I don't want to touch those. Can we, like... Don't touch me! Bad touch! Bad touch! Bad touch! This is sick, though. Oh my god, eyes. Oh, this is so cool! I just wanna... I just wanna watch! Ow. How? Where do these hands come from all of a sudden? My brain feels melting when I'm touched by them. My brain feels like it's melting when I'm touched by them. These things. Oh no. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh. Yeah. 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 Oh. Rye, do you know it? In your journey ahead, you will face even more spectacular abnormal eager to eat you. Oh, okay, so they're called abnormals? That is to say, you cannot get away. I'm not sure if you're tough enough to survive long enough to find the ultimate exit of the park. But seriously, reaching the exit may not be the best choice, should we say? Want to know a secret? I know the best way to get home. I pity you. I truly hope you can experience the best ending. I wonder what's the flickering. I haven't been paying attention. Hold on. Flicker again. It's so fast. Oh. The outcome would indeed be ideal for Confettia, and it's a time I anticipate more than anyone else. If you allow it, I hope to clear the abnormal for you, ensuring a smooth journey ahead. Unfortunately, it's your story. Therefore, I can't interfere. After all, Rai, this is the endless carnival hosted only for you. I'm falling. Okay, this game is so... I love how colorful it is. It's so vivid. Face to pick up a dessert, tab to open your backpack. Double click, love mouse, or press number keys to eat. Welcome, 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 welcome. Okay, okay, welcome aboard, capable of your part. I don't even know. We will show you the wonder of Confettia. Let your spirit and imagination roam through free. We are committed to providing a unique experience for every one of our visitors. A fantastic environment, a colorful palette has always been a- Speaking of which, I must mention the transportational pipe. Oh god, thanks to your unique outstanding at the facility, Confetti co Factory! Confetti Factory. Our secret recipe is that of the paints containing delicious emotions. Everything is so colorful. Yes, it is, actually. I oh. Why don't you have your own color? Every paint has its own personality. See pink? Carve a smile in every face, every- Cheerfully taking off the- Ugh! Cheerfully cheering- Oh. Okay, I can't read. Delicacy right in front of us. The factory the, the the factory is producing paint. We want to eat it. Can we not eat me? Eat it, 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 eat it. Is that delicious? I want a bite too. Um, you're looking kind of different. Pop it to your face. Is that delicious? I want a bite too. What happened to your face? What? Can I get away from you? What happened to your face? Answer my question. That's so cool. Can I keep messing him up? Is this still the same? Okay, I don't think it's doing anything. Um... No. No is not allowed! Oh. No! 
No! Don't take my paper boat! I'm telling you, I've noticed it already. Who are you? If I pull the paper boat off your head, then there must be a bald patch underneath. <gasps> don't... Don't uncover that. Who are you? Me? I am. <laughs> you lost soul. How can you expect to find your way home safely in this chaotic world of confettia? Now, let me teach you something important. Firstly, take that paper boat off. Oh, she's showing... Oh, never mind. She's not showing her other eye. Never mind that for a moment. How did you get that paper fortune teller? I have a paper fortune teller? Quick, pick a number. Um, four. Pick a direction. Uh, north? The direction of fate will be... Little silly's hat tip. Okay. Great. Then I will start eating up... Or, then I will start eating from you, little silly hat tip. What? What? I don't understand. Uh, and sh Oh, okay. Feast, 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 feast. Hey, not for you. Oh. Oh, they're hungry. You are not listening at all. Well, do you have any idea why Abnormal wants to eat you that much? No, I'm just a piece of paper. Their one and only desire is to feast on fear and desperation. Under their attack, your soul will ooze black and white paints like wounds oozing blood under a bandage. That is to say, rare, colorless prey like you are precisely their favorite. Well, little paper boat, let me tell you a secret. Abnormal shouldn't have invaded this park. They abruptly came through this place one day and nobody could do a thing about it. Only the paper craft in your hands is especially prepared for visitors. It can reverse the abnormal. That paper craft is called Ori Curd. Listen carefully. I'm listening. That's the power of the Ori Curd shop. The physical body and wounds don't exist in this world. To overcome an opponent, the only way to you way is to use spiritual powers. You just need a stronger mind than your opponent to suppress them, or even reflect a spiritual effect onto them. Ori Curd is a medium for such. The instantaneous shock generates a burst of spiritual energy sufficient to reverse the state of your opponent. Paper boat, tiny little paper boat. Do you have any idea on what it means to hold the Oricur? Whether you like it or not, the fate of Confectia is in your hands, little brat. What? You said your name is Rai? None of my business. Alright, if I keep our protagonist here for too long, our audience might get mad. Keep on sailing. Ah. I almost forgot the most important thing. I haven't taken a bite out of you yet. Oh. I don't think I want you. Can we not? Oh. Oh no. Oh! Please don't touch me. Bad touch. Bad touch.
think I'm get I'm understanding what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, but I'm still hurting. Oh, please don't touch me. Oh, I keep running into them. Oh. Oh, okay. That heals the little potion thing. That's kind of nice. Welcome, capable. The welcome gives a huh? <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Be silent. Oh, somebody doesn't like me. Was this place always that dark? Did I remember wrongly? Ouch! You startled me. How are you still alive? Those cuties treated you way too nicely. What a bunch of idiots. Everything is for me, then. Look, I like... <laughs> I like the... this art right here. <laughs> oh, and another thing I wanted to tell you when we meet... when we met. Your dandruff is exploding. That's... don't say that. We have arrived at the terminal of the welcome cable. Thank you for joining us. Our welcome cable will forever welcome you. Welcome, welcome. Hey, is that all the time you have to chat? Someone must be really impatient. Rai. You know how wonderful it would be if all the abnormal and confetti were fixed. No one's spirit will ever get hurt. It'll be a perfect amusement park of pure innocence. And you will no longer be exposed to fear, and no soul will ever collapse. No human will ever die here. Confetti, uh, huh? That is confetti and the most for I think that would be the best ending. Can't you just do it yourself? I don't care. I just want to go home. I'll try not to get squashed. Can't can't you do it yourself? Hmm. Hmm. I don't care, I just want to go home. Isn't that obvious? Do you really think I care about your life, silly? Your determination to leave is so strong, I'm starting to envy you. Alright, Confetti is still waiting for you. See ya, paper boat. Who are you, anyway? As you can see. I am Elusia. Oh god, I've told you so many secrets, don't tell anyone else, and you said things that I didn't catch. Including, I am Elusia. Because... Lucia doesn't exist. This is no there is no illusion. What's this? This piece of paper fell along with you, but you don't think you've ever seen it before. On the paper is a sketch of some kind of soft-bodied ocean creature, or maybe just a couple of tangled crooked lines. It was some immature kid that put it on your back while you were distracted. Confetia's classic welcoming event, the tour of the Glocken Cable, is coming to an end. After a brief introduction, do you have a better understanding of this park now? Now you can start- you can follow the route, and start your journey officially in the first area. Up ahead, the blank 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 button house. The last part of the notes is scribbled out. Okay. Man, this game is so cool. I wonder what this eyeball is up here, what that's for. Okay, some sort of coin thing turns into fruit, some button turns into flower. As you sow, so shall you reap. As you sow the buttons, so shall you reap the button flowers. You find yet another sticker on the back of this paper, the writing on it seems different. The first time I came here, there was no park, just a vast empty space. The only attractions were a merry-go-round with tons of teeth and, a bumper, and bumper cars on fire. They were all gone after the construction of this area was completed. But back then, compared to these abnormal facilities, the most interesting thing was still the visitor in a black and white teddy bear costume. Holding a tattered doll, the teddy visitor looked timid. 
Don't be shy. Play around with Woo Woo. To be continued. Play around with Woo Woo. Are you playing Woo Wa too? Button house. Button. House. Okay, well, thank you for letting me know where I'm at. Head, button house. Is there anything else here? Oh, goodness. I like all these button flowers. They're cute. Okay, I guess we're going in here. Let's see what they, they have in store for me, the little button house. Poodles. Oh, I don't like how these balloons look, though. A shimmering pool of paint. It reminds you of the liquid inside the cheap crystal balls sold at stationery stores. No matter how you slide on it, it doesn't seem to stick onto you. Your damned uniqueness is a lost cause. A puddle of paint littered with star-shaped flakes. It's hard to see clearly in the light, but you can barely recognize that the paint has different shades of color. The introduction speech at the welcome cable said the paint feeds the spirit. You're curious about how they taste. I just want to eat paint. A giant broken pipe. Paint-like liquid is oozing from the bottom. If the paints are edible here, then this one must taste terrible, you think to yourself. Is there anything over here? Oh, there is. Anything in the back? No. Oh, look, tickets! Nice. More tickets. Nice. I don't even know what these are for. Confettia's latest article. Lottery box. All kinds of random prizes await you inside. Do not miss them. So don't miss them. Okay. Anything on the other side? Look at the symbols on the lottery boxes to find out what prizes they hold. What's this? Candy? Hmm, the candy didn't give me anything though. Ahead, Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, fun show. The biggest and most immersive Wheel of Fortune in the button house. The lucky chosen members. Oh, members of the audience can attempt challenges to win numerous prizes. Don't be discouraged if you don't- if you didn't beat me. The Wheel of Fortune will be with you forever till you win. Come in, 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 come in. Okay. They really want people to come inside. The question box is thinking about the question box, which is thinking about the question box. Get a lottery box from a lottery box. Get another lottery box from a lottery box. And again, get another lottery box from a lottery box. You find yet another sticker on the back of this paper. The writing on it seems different. Why are there so many teeth on this merry-go-round? The amusement parks weren't like this where I lived. I recall the notice on the billboard. Beware of abnormal appearances in confetia. Watch out for their spiritual attacks. Is that what abnormal is? I was thinking. I saw a trembling figure walking towards me. Teddy was attacked by the abnormal merry-go-round. Luckily, I had lots of desserts. I can heal the spirits, and I shared some with Teddy. It's just that there were too many- too expensive. It chewed up most of my savings. Teddy told me that it would be great to have a big spinning wheel of fortune here. Just spin the wheel, and endless sweets should come out if one's lucky. Maybe because Teddy has never been to a New Eason park, nor have they ever played this kind of game before. Even the introverted Teddy said this with excitement. To be continued. I really can't get over how expressive this game is. Dessert shop. Selling delicious food made of colorful paints. 
rich in ecstatic emotions. It's your prime choice for experiencing spiritual moments. Except Confessio vouchers only. Hey. Oh, is this where I can buy them? Okay, cool. Pink, pinky jelly drink. A pink beverage made entirely of jelly, including the cup, including the cup, restores 20 spirit points. Tangerine cherry pop. A single lick of this tangerine flavored lollipop can cheer you up, restores 10 spirit points. Marmalade cake. The cup of this cupcake is made out of astringent orange peels, restores 30. Oh. So I can sell. Oh. Cool. Well, I can only afford a lollipop, but I do not need it. How do I leave? Thank you. But oh, I want to I want to talk with this thing. You are starting to get a lot of dandruff. I wonder why. I wonder why. Hi, Rai. You're heading to the first attraction in Button House already. Hi, Delarini. Uh, although my work as a guide is pretty much over, I'm still really curious about what kind of fun you're going to have. Quick survey! Do you think the moon is made out of blueberries? Um... Are there any geese swimming in the green box? Are there shadows of the, the thing or just circus? What? Are there shadows eating... Are the Oh, are there shadows eating oranges in the circus? I don't understand. Yes! <laughs> I expected so. Anyway, where has Demetria gone to? Being smashed into jam in a terrible accident? Surely that won't happen. But never mind. So how are you? Do you have fun? Did you have fun with the welcome cable? I learned how to use Orchard. I met Lucia. What happened to Demetria? I I don't know if I should tell her any of these things or tell him any of this. I learned how to use the orchard? Oh! That's something only visitors can get. But strange, no one else other than the visitors have ever obtained the orchard or learned how to use it throughout Confetia. How did you suddenly learn how to use it? I figured it out myself. Ha ha ha! Interesting. I've heard this answer before. So you're feeling uneasy about me just because I scared you a little at the entrance. Honestly, I just intended to show you the terror of the abnormal. To be honest, Rai, I just want to whisper. I just want to whisper for a moment. I just want to whisper for a moment. I have no intention whatsoever of hurting you. Why did it all glitch out like that, though? I shoulder my one and only duty. To guide the visitors on the right path. If anyone wants you to save Confetia with Ulricard. That is definitely the wrong path, leading to the worst ending of the whole confetia. Why? Rai, keep your eyes wide open. Because the illusion is disgustingly fake. Just like I said, the first attraction in Button House is just the head. Huh? Why that face? I didn't say anything weird. <laughs> Aww, like, uh, the little face of the paper man. Our Wheel of Fortune will provide visitors with superbly designed games. Go ahead with your omnipotent oricard and try our little hero in Confetia. <laughs> okay. Hello. Well, back to the topic at hand. Do you like game booths at carnivals? Uh, sometimes. I mean, the ones that I like doing are like the ones where you, even though I'm bad at it, I like the ones where you have to like throw a baseball and knock down things. And then I also like the one where you have to like spray water at a small little target when you're competing with other people. That's kind of fun. Um, I'm really, there, there's somewhere you can use like a little airsoft gun or something where you shoot things and that's kind of fun too. But I, I always fall for the one where you have to, like, toss, toss like, a little ball to, to knock over the pins. I, I don't know why I'm so weak to that booth, but 
I play it anyway. And sometimes I win. Not all the time, but sometimes. With all the colorful figures lined up that you can take home if you toss rings onto them. Yeah, I like that one. That one's pretty fun, too. Oh, dear. There seems to be more than two of us here. <laughs> can you hear me? What? Huh? Dear audience, both those who exist and do not exist, welcome! We finally have a new visitor at the Wheel of Fortune who is running around, who is a lost kid that can't get out. Yes, yes, the lucky audience member this time is... The lottery box passing by. Oh. With our winner, Woo Woo, inside. Woo Woo, as the lucky winner, do you have anything like you'd like to say? Oh. Well, since our winner ran away, our true lucky winner should be now... Rye! Oh, you just slid me over. Hi. Okay. If you beat three games, I will reward you with a big prize. Who's talking? See who this is? Oh. Demetria. Are you okay? Finally. Someone is here to take my place and play this thing? Ray, you're alive! Why didn't you get smashed into jam? Hey, Rye, you just took my line! Haha, <laughs> I'm a ghost. Hello, I'm still here. Who's talking? Oh no, Rai. We must have been haunted by imaginary sounds. Hey, can anybody hear me? Hello? 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 If you keep chatting with imaginary things, you'll probably go insane for real. Hey, hey, hey. Hmm, I think so. Becoming someone like Dillerini would be ter terrifying. Play with the Wheel of Fortune or everyone will get smashed into jam! Okay. Great. Great! Mm, not chance. Hooray! Also, can you put me down now? No, no, you don't seem to understand. I will only let, go let you go if Rai beats me. Impossible. Impossible? Jam on the floor! Jam, jam, jam on the floor! Wheel of Fortune, you do know that jumping from this height wouldn't even hurt a kid. I don't want to play your games anymore. My game is absolutely fair. You lost, so accept the punishment. You forced me to play rock, paper, scissors with six hands at the same time? Ugh, why is this kid have such a wet blanket? I've been playing with you for way too long. Never mind, but you two are a little troublesome. You should stay in here. Helping rise against the rules, cheating is not good. Are you expecting us to just stand here hopelessly watching Rai get torn to pieces? Don't tell it! Just think of it. Paper scraps are so hard to clean up. Oh, come on, Rai. At least you don't have to stay here and listen to them talking. Rai, you seem to be holding a very interesting paper craft. Then let's play some special games. If you beat me, the Wheel of Fortune will reward you with tons of vouchers. How's that? Would you like to try your luck? Ha ha ha. You don't have a choice anyway. Cheater. I'm not! <laughs> The rules of the first game. Hey, Slendy. What is Slendy right now? You must have played ring tossing games before, yeah? Yeah, I have. I will drop a uh, drop in a bunch of lovely little dolls. When a doll enters one of the light circles, catch them by shocking them with your oricurn. Right, okay, I think I get it. If you capture five dolls, you will be the winner. Are the rules clear? Uh, I want to listen again. Shock them with your ori card when dolls enter a light circle. If you capture five, are your rules clear? Yeah, clear. Ready. Three, two, one, go. Where are they? Oh, they're hurting me. They're hurting me though. Come forth to the Wheel of Fortune. You caught six dolls. Here's your reward, 480 vouchers. Wow, I'm rich. You can buy plenty of sweets with them. Wait, I forgot to say earlier. 
I was suddenly grabbed by a swarm of hands and then I was brought here. And that big, meanie wheel just forced me to play forever and wouldn't let me go. I was stuck here. What happened with Rai? I took... Uh, I beat up a lot of weird stuff. I took a ride on the welcome cable. Sounds like another trick. Oh, sounds like another treat, but it's actually a trick. <laughs> you guys, don't try any tricks in front of me. The next game is easy enough. I will give different commands, and you must complete them within a time limit. But be very careful. When the lights dim, you must disobey the order. For example, if I say stand still, you should keep running. If I say open a box, and then then don't open a box, but only when the lights are dimmed. If you complete ten commands, you win. Are you clear about the rules? Yeah, I think I get it. Alright. Only when the lights are off do I just do nothing. Shock a bunny. Oh. Open a box. Stand next to a box. Okay. Shock a teddy bear. Oh. Oh, I, I, I move. I pr was pressing the space button. Shock a teddy bear. Stand next to a box. I can do that. Don't move. Oh, wait. Oh! Go into the circle on the ground! Where? Oh! Move! Go left. Go down. What? Open a box? Go into the circle onto the ground. Okay, shock a teddy bear. Was I supposed to do that? Was it light? Stand next to a box. Go left. What? Shock a bunny. I don't want to. Oh! Open a box! Go right? Come forth to the Wheel of Fortune! Okay. Completed 14 commands. Boom. I, I, I did it. Take it, take it. A great bunch of vouchers. Wow, I'm rich. Ha 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 ha! Hee hee ho! You can't run away! You can't run away! You delicious little thing ri running around! <laughs> Jeez, Demetria, I think it's gonna eat you up! When did I say that I wanted to eat the kid with a cross on her head? But she is your hostage, and I'm your hostage too! If I really wanted to eat someone, I would have taken them hostage. No, I'm sorry. I didn't think you could possibly figure it out. Sweet. There, there. Since you asked for it, only the Wheel of Fortune can grant your wish. Last game, if Rai loses, everyone and every paper is going to be eaten. Ta-da! Woo! I'm flying. I will hide Demetria in one of the lottery boxes. If you manage to find her, you win! Easy, right? <laughs> However, every time the light dims, abnormal will show up. No time limit this time. If you can find her, just keep playing the game here forever. If you can't find her, just keep playing the game forever. Are the rules clear? Clear? Before the last game, the generous Wheel of Fortune will allow you to take a break outside. If you can't find Dimitri after the game starts, you shall never leave this place. Okay, I'll leave. When you come back, we will start the final game. Okay, I'll be back. I think I should heal, actually. You find and play the most interesting games. I I just happened to stumble upon it, that's all. Oh. Oh wait. Where's where's the place? Okay. Wow. That that was farther along than I thought it was. Can I buy junk? You woo -wa. Wow, Teddy! Oh, uh, no, my bad. Well, you're a visitor too, no? Why are visitors all in black and white? I almost thought you were someone else. You're so cute! What? Your name is Rai? I am Woo Woo, the sole octopus of this park. <laughs> His face got all tiny, it's cute. 
Have you ever heard of Confetti Factory? I live in there. There's a ton of delicious food in that place. It's been a long time since I met the last visitor. How did you get here? Did you buy a ticket? I bought a ticket. I fell out of nowhere. Well, I guess so. Hey, did you happen to see my novel while you were wandering around here? So far, there's five chapters. I scattered them around here while I wrote them. Do you see any other visitors that are black and white like you? No. I expected so. Can you tell me if you see another one? I can give you two candies for free. From my personal collection. From my precious collection. No. And are you up for some candies? The ones that can refresh your mind? You humans seem to rely on them somewhat. You can buy some food at the road truck over there, if you have enough vouchers. I do, actually. I'm... I've got this. How do I buy it? So this is 30. This is 20. I could buy, like, two of these. I don't know, which one will I have more bang for my buck? 20? 10. I think 20. Okay. Nice. Let's use one of these. So that's a three. Ooh, very nice. And then a two. Alright. Cool. Okay, let's go. Let's go uh, fight the Wheel of Fortune, I suppose. Wheel of Fortune time. Wheel of Fortune. Is there anything else around here that I can mess with? No. Okay. Start the game with the Wheel of Fortune. Confirm. Find Dimitri along with the, the laundry boxes or the game will never end. And every time the light dims, abnormal will appear. Are the rules clear? Yep. They are clear. And where do they... Oh. Oh, sheesh! Find the box with Dimitri in it. Oh. What? No! That's not... That's not her. Oh, come on. Is there another box that I'm not seeing? No? Delarini, I don't need you. Do you know where Dimitri is? <laughs> How should I know? I'm busy eavesdropping on the whispers from inside the box. Amazing! If you watch and listen carefully, you can find a lot of cool stuff in unexpected places, don't you think? Okay, but that's not what I needed. Watch and listen carefully. Mm. 
No. Watch and listen. I'm here. Where? She says, follow my voice. Can you hear me? Hey, you found her. I can't believe you found her. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Thanks. Thought I was going to be stuck here forever. Are you okay? Wait, let me see. Brilliant. The sweets I won for the Wheel of Fortune are still with me. The sweets here can refresh your spirit, can't they? Take these first. I knew it would resort to trickery, but I didn't expect it to hide me in such a place. Come over here. The Wheel of Fortune has prepared a super prize for you. Super! Do I trust you? Ah, let me free. Rai never disappoints. You actually found her. Fine, fine. I admit defeat, so the generous Wheel of Fortune hereby decides to give you a special prize. Don't you want to go home? Then keep advancing. You may find the exit if you're lucky enough. No, there doesn't seem to be any path ahead. The cheater is cheating even until the last minute. What's this box? Oh, or what's this? A box? Hi, I'm a teleportation box. Good day to you. Good day? Though, mine's turning out to be quite the opposite. A teleportation box can teleport you to somewhere else if you feed me with a tiny gingerbread. Then I'm on a diet. I can teleport you for free just this one time. You don't have to feed me. A teleportation is a one-way trip. You can go back and take a rest at the dessert shop first. Oh, goodness. Okay. I'll go I'll go back. Oh, now I want a gingerbread. Mm, we're we're about to hit that season. Still got to get through October first. Hey, girlie is following me now. Nice. Hey, woo woo, meet my new friend. Hey, you're still alive. Who are you? Another human? I thought you got mashed into jam. I'm Demetria. But maybe renaming myself Jam would be better for everyone. Hmm. Hmm. Don't you ask my what my name is? No. Fine. I'm a mysterious octopus. I'm woo. Oh, hold on. I'm I'm woo. -woo. I'm three octopus years old. I live in a, I live in a purplish place inside confetti. I'm skilled at writing novels. My dream is to become a king of demons. But before that, you can call us. Oh, you can join the woo cult as of now. Huh? I'll give you the Demon King's voucher. I drew it myself. Uh. Hmm. Woo Woo. My name is Woo Woo. My real name is Wu Yan. But everyone calls me Woo Woo. I think my real name is cooler. But it's also... So it's better if you call me that. But Woo Woo is also... Fine, fine. Just find some grown-ups to play with you. What the heck? Why is everyone telling me this? Deadly is way nicer. I never understand what he's talking about, but at least he's willing to buy me snacks. You are right. I suggest you spend more time playing with him. Yeah, they tell me... They tell me this a lot as well. No lie. Woo-woo. <laughs> oh, woo-woo. Is there anything else I can mess with around here? The octopus is funny. The octopus is very, very cute. Alright, well... Well, hold up. Maybe... Maybe I should buy... I don't... I might as well just buy, right? I'll, I'll just go ahead and buy a lollipop. A lollipop. Oops. I only have enough to buy one lollipop anyway. Well, thanks. Bye. There we go. 
All right, let's go. My mom bought a bunch of those generic brand lollipops for Halloween, so we have like 200 of those. Oh man. Sometimes they're nice. Like, if you haven't had... And I guess this goes for any sort of sweet, but if you haven't had something in a long time, there can still be some enjoyment with it. All right, gingerbread star person. I get them every time I'm at the hair cutters. That's good. Oh. It's a one-way trip. Once I swallow you, there's no going back. That's kind of odd, but okay. You can go back and take a rest at the dessert shop first. Teleport now. Yeah. Get me out of here. We were swallowed in an instant. Swallowed by a box. Wait, are we inside the box? Let's just find where the exit is. When you have a partner, they may have something to say sometimes. Approach and chat using space. Does she follow me? I'm thinking... If it isn't that dangerous, then this place could be... good for a sleep. Oh, forget what I said. I might just be a little sleep deprived. Thank you. Sweets! Free sweets! If you like them, welcome to our shop. The address is... I can't read that. Oh. I'm over here. I'm over here, yet I'm over there. Hmm. Exit. Huh. Well, thank you for having big, bright words. Maintenance report. Transport pipe functioning properly with no signs of breaking. Well, that's good. Oh. Oh, very nice. Maybe I should look around more, you know. I really like the design of this game. The design of this game is very fun. My favorite flavors are watermelon, root beer, strawberry, and blueberry. I like the watermelon and strawberry. Very, very typical. Unique? Yes, very. What's this about? There's a gift box symbol on the sign. It looks a little familiar. Okay. Two times something plus three times... Okay, two times diamond plus three times star equals... Please enter the answer. Oh, God. Okay, wait. Hold on, hold on! There's a tiny block symbol on the sign. It looks a little familiar. Where do I get these diamonds? What are these diamonds about? Sweets, more free sweets. If you like them, please be sure to remember our brand. I don't even know what the brand is. Any idea about the puzzle? The puzzle on the board? If it's math, then the question revolves around the significance of the numbers represented by the diamond and the star. A uh, diamond and a star, I must have seen them somewhere out here. The two rooms look alike, the layouts also match. Could the answer be related to the number of specific items in the room? Okay, well, there's two stars right here. Right? Where, where do we see diamonds, though? Oh, one. Three. So, one diamond. One star? Well, one diamond, one star over here. Two diamonds. Two 
two stars. So two diamonds, two times two equals four. Please don't do PEMDAS on me. <laughs> There's no parentheses. So two times two times two, four plus three, seven, but it's us two and 14. Okay, fine. Fine, all right. Two, how about this? Three times two equals six. And then this is four, so 10? Hmm. But there's a star, I'm assuming it's like the star carpet, right? Two. Gosh, this is actually the worst math. I'm so bad at math, guys. Okay, so... Star? Unless it's... Oh. Wait a second. Is there... Okay. That one has a star, but that one's also a star, too. Okay, maybe star. So how many blocks are with the star and then how many gifts are with the diamonds, right? So we'll try that. So with the diamond, diamond is one, two, three, four, five. And then the blocks is three. So star is three, diamond is five. I'm assuming this one is a big one count, maybe four. So diamond is four, star is three. Star, three, diamond, four. Star, three, diamond, four, because my memory sucks so bad. Diamond, three, diamond, four, star, three, right? So, 2 times 4 equals 8, plus 3 equals 11, times 3 is 33, maybe? Okay, fine. I'll do it the other way, then. So, star 3, diamond 4. Oh, did I do it backwards? No, I didn't. So 2 times 4 equals 8. And then 3 times 3 equals 9. So maybe 17? Gosh, I'm so dumb. Yay! Thank you. Feed me with one tiny, gin tiny gingerbread and I can teleport you. Are you sure you want to feed me one with one tiny gingerbread? Okay. Great, swallowed by a box for the third time today. Move me to a new place. This may be the last time. Huh, right. Being optimistic is a good thing, at least. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, a forking path? Rai, do you enjoy horror movies? Why are you asking? I don't, actually. I don't enjoy horror movies. <laughs> anyway, I think we should definitely not split up. Thank you. That's a great idea. Fantastic idea. You never want to split up during a horror movie. But thank you for the follow. We're, we're, we're getting closer to my goal of at least 400 by... I want, to, I want to get at least 400 by the end of this month, but if that's not possible, at least by the end of this year, I would like to, to reach the good old 400. So thank you. Thank you so much. What's this about? Oh no! The bear is stuck in an ice cube? Ice cream? A fridge can refrigerate ice creams. That's... yeah, that's good. Can't a block... oh wait, can't a block box refrigerate toys too? You find yet another sticker on the back of this paper. The writing on it seems different. Teddy had a few colored pencils with them. They draw stuff all the time. No wonder they were in a teddy costume. All their doodles were of teddy bears. 
These, oh, those teddy bears were always wore colorful round buttons. Teddy said buttons looked like pretty candies and they suited the teddy bears well, so they liked it. If only there was a big button specifically for putting it in blocks and toys. It's not true if everyone else is doing and you're spitting up and you aren't splitting up could save you. <laughs> That's true. Like, it depends. Has there ever been a movie where splitting up was the best option for them, though? Like, I guess in some cases, maybe. Maybe, like... You keep saying them? What do you mean, them? What do you mean- oh, uh, 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 yeah, Like... For a singular person, yes. Okay. Okay. Teddy always said that to me, but I didn't quite understand. I'm more interested in the mysterious, ancient, monstrous octopus devils to be continued. So many octopus. The exit is up ahead. Why do you want to leave? Because it's time for me to go. Exit is up ahead, but why do you want to leave? There's a thingy back here. Money. Money. For a singular person, it's better to split up. Hmm. I guess I can't argue with that. Ooh, very nice. It really is rewarding to be looking around and spending extra time just enjoying the scenery and then getting a little few goodies. Alright, I always go left. So let's go left. I'd survive well alone versus with a group of idiots. <laughs> What's this? A tuft of cotton seems to be the trace left behind after something was moved away. Something was moved away. have a gingerbread, but I will- Oh! Oh! Ooh. Are you okay? <gasps> Finally, someone's here. Eh, two new kids. Why are you staring at the top of my head? Oh, me? Oh, that- the, because your head- uh, it looks dynamic. Oh, I remember that. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I have no idea why I've become like this. The only one who might have the answer is the guy who brought me here. My body was put away after it broke. It should now be in the room on the right. Head and body part? Jeez. Can you stay alive with your head and body apart? Of course, kiddos. No human being could survive it. Thirst for knowledge is good, but stop it here. Hmm. I ask if you have ever seen a tiny gingerbread? It can teleport this way. Maybe we can leave it together. No, I don't want to go outside. I'm still waiting for someone. But I did eat some gingerbread, which should still be in my head. Weird words with the, with the common tongue. Can you give us that gingerbread? Well, I guess. But I haven't met anyone I get along with well for ages. Can you help me find a little candy? All the toys here move to the right. I'm the only one left. But I've always wanted to know what that candy tasted like. Yeah, the toys should know where the candy is. If you can help me with the candy, I'll give you the gingerbread. Deal? At your service. I will be stuck talking with you forever. I mean, he's in half. <laughs> Let's check the room on the right again. Well, I didn't even go to the one on the right. I just chose to go left. Well, I guess we'll go right. Ads, why? Is it running ads? I wish it told me that it was gonna do that. Oh well. Sorry, dude. Hello. I'm here for candy? Knock? Knock? Aren't there any toys inside? No, there isn't. Do you know where the candy is? Dots. 
It's playing dead. Ugh, this is such a pity. I wish I could give it to the taciturn doll if I could find it. <laughs> the suite is hidden in the spot determined by multiplying the row number in the upper left corner by 10, then subtracting the row number and adding the column number and finally adding the row number again. The clues is too complicated. Yeah, that is. And you're making me do math again? What a shame. If we can't find the candy, we won't be able to deliver it. The candy is on a red square. Such a quick surrender. Am I actually not too bad at conversing? Gaining confidence by tricking a dumb doll? Huh? What does it say? Pathetic of me? Dumb doll? I'm trying to figure out what it says in the back. That's interesting. I love how they play with the different... Uh, I like the different optimizations of the UI. The exit from one box leads to more boxes. The path only leads you deeper and deeper. Be careful, don't get lost. The maintenance report. Transport pipe functioning properly, but no signs of breaking. FYI, it's been a while since the last maintenance. The block pipe system is getting old. You find shaky hand you find a shaky handwritten handwriting on the back that reads How disappointing. You all get lost so easily. Just a slight detour is enough to drive you easily away. Hey, there's a- there's a little dude here. Can we chat? Knock knock. Are you that little food-stealing octopus? No, we are photograph- photographers running around. Or the guy who knocked on the train and ran away straight after. We're some unlucky wanderers. What? Unlucky wanderers? Oh, just visitors passing by. Then it's okay. What are you doing here? Give us the candy. Do you know where the candy is? What candy? Oh, there used to be candies, but they've been pretty much all eaten. There might be a last one on the left side. Days began to get busy ever since I moved here. I almost forgot what happened over there. The two rooms are mirror images of each other. They're confusing me. I remember that back when I was still over there, if I moved three squares to the right and then went down, I'd find the candy. Oh, shoot. Okay, the dude said it's on a red square. This guy says it's all the way to the left. If I moved three squares to the right and then went down, I'd find the candy. Uh, gosh, I will not remember. The candy's on a red square. Okay, what'd you say? Two rooms are mirrors. They're confusing me. I remember back when I was still over there, if I moved three squares to the right and went down, I'd find the candy. Three squares to the right and down. Thank you for all of the candy, though. That's actually really... I wish I could just feed him this candy. Hey, man. Knock, knock. Who? Who is it? Do you know where the candy is? I'll never tell you that there's someone that's candy you're hiding. True, true. We don't know at, about the last hidden candy. We also don't know where the candy is. Yep. No one knows that the candy is still in the room on the left, and it's not behind me. Okay, it's on the room on the left. Three squares... What did the guy say? <laughs> oh god. What'd you say? I forgot already. Mirror images are confusing me. It's not behind the other guy. I remember... That back when I was still over there, if I moved three squares to the right. Three squares to the right. And then went down, I'd find the candy. Okay. And it's not behind the bear, and it's in a red square. Three squares to the right. One, two, three.
Yes. Chat for a bit. At least I survived the Wheel of Fortune. I know- I knew I'd play dirty, but I didn't expect to be that crazy. How did you finally find me? I followed your voice. I was worried you couldn't hear me, but luckily it worked. Huh. You look so tiny, but you're so brave. Facing everything with a poker face. I'm cute. True. Rai is very cute. <laughs> Any idea about the poozle? The bear in the lower left corner said the candy is in... Is in the room on the left. And it's not behind it. Right. The one hidden... The one hidden behind the window in the lower right corner said the candy is on a red square. Right. The duckling in the upper right corner said that the object layout in the two rooms are mirrored. When it was still in the room on the left, if it moved three squares to the right, right, and then went down, it would find the candy. So the candy should be in the room on the left side placed on a red square below. Wait, so find where the duck lay- yeah, so this one? Maybe? Because I said three to the right. Unless... One, two, three... Do I... Because this is where the duckling's at. One, two, three. Then one... It'd be here, no? And then it went down. Did you just stumble upon something? It looks like candy. Let's give it to the giant doll. Wow, okay. So I just had to keep going. Giant doll, we found the candy. Whoa, that's it. Wait a second. Oh, there it is. Still in my head. Here, the tiny gingerbread for you. Thank you. I'll take the candy, then. This candy... tastes different to what I imagine. Why does it taste so weird? Why? I remember now. But why? How did that happen? How did it become like this? Huh? W what just happened to it? And... Why did all the stuff appear all of a sudden? Wait, Rai, I have a bad feeling. Can we just go to the jitter? The exit is gone. Why do I- Why do my feelings have to come true? At least we got the gingerbread already. <laughs> We're gonna be swallowed again. Yeah... I'm just curious though, what happened? I'd hope you get a bad feeling when that happened. Oh no... The bear. Well, I guess we'll leave. Okay. Ah! Oh, forgive me. That is a surprise. I thought this place was somewhere else. The colors here remind me of bad experiences. Well, anyway, why is this place so different? And can you feel a sudden, inexplicable surge of emotion? It's not generated inside you, but penetrates and penetrates your mind from the outside. Some kind of fear? You feel nothing. Tell her you're scared too. Tell her you feel nothing. Why can't I feel anything? You look around at the scene, black and white scenery, trying hard to extract some horrible elements from the scene to scare yourself. You concentrate on the fluctuation inside your heart and mind. You still can't feel any emotion. Maybe you're just a brave kid, haha. <laughs> hmm? Uh, Rai? Is something on your mind? You seem to have suddenly frozen. I'm feeling uncomfortable. Let's search for the exit with caution. It looks like a word. Oh. Okay. Despair. It's all despair! I just have uh, Monokuma on my head. You find yet another sticker on the back of the paper. The writing on it seems different. I always felt that the teleportation boxes were sending us to deeper places. And the abnormal were growing as well. 
Teddy has been acting strange lately, and the teddy bears they drew look more crooked. Teddy said, I'm seeing all this weird stuff. Is it because my eyes are broken? Should I poke out the broken parts with pencils? I was a bit scared. The grown-ups warned me that as a spirit... That as a spirit is eroded, the madness will manifest in more concrete ways. I shouldn't keep thinking about this. Stay here and don't go. I'll fetch some sweets for you, I told Teddy. I was dead serious. If only the visitors could walk on the path I could take, I would have been able to lead Teddy out. To be continued. A bunch of black pencils, you can hardly see them. Though your hair was drawn with a pencil, you sure hope it wasn't one of these pencils. Color of emotion. Huh. Okay. That looks like, let me go. Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. That's a lot of paper. Oh. I'm starting to think I know what the color of the emotion is, guys. I wonder what it could be. It's beige. That's a lot of... That's a hand. Hey, somebody put in an IV. What is this? Oh no. They got cellulitis. Is what they got. Is there anything else? Oh no. A doll-like hand is given an infusion. The thing in its infusion bottle doesn't seem to be liquid, but cotton. I hope that's not a real human hand. Of course not. What is this? Doodles are all over this doll. Somehow, several cloth flowers are blooming alongside the cottons and the gaping wounds. I like how its face is all removed too. Oh no, that one has a sad face! Honestly, I really vibe with the art direction. The art direction is very, very good in this. I, I'm enjoying it a lot. Confetti! Oh no, this looks pretty bad. There are two round things in this box. You hope they're not the bodily organ you're thinking of. Rye, don't you think the color here is somehow getting more intense? I feel a strange feeling intruding my heart, a warm feeling, but it's more disgusting than anything. Unwanted parts. Yum yum. Color of emotion. What do you think it is? Uh... You know what? Actually... Pink? Oh, that might... You might be right. Oh yeah, it is. Huh. I was about to put eyes. <laughs> I'm like, nah, eyes. 
I was just one letter off. I needed a Y here. But pink, pink's a good guess, I guess. I mean, it makes sense, so I'll take the answer, I suppose. It is very pink in here, though, you're right. I mean, that was, like, so obvious. <laughs> Oh, my eyes. Oh, this is so bright. Oh. <laughs> hey, man, how do you how do you feel about this one? Can I... Can, you, you won't talk to me here. Okay. Oh, look. Something I can... Oh, look how happy it is. Do you guys feel happy seeing all these smiling faces? I can't even tell what that is. <laughs> Hey, there's a gingerbread around here. I hear something, by the way. Do you guys see something on that? I don't see anything on those. I see a smiley face on that one. Smile through the pain. There's something like giggling. Oh, that one looks different. I see L, M? Hmm. I don't see anything. On this one? Oh, sorry. Where, where's the other one? Oh. Yeah, see, I don't see nothing. I, I kind of see the M now. I guess the L is right here? I'm trying to, like, look at both of my monitors, but my, my first monitor, the... It's not picking up anything. take it? I don't know if I should, but I'll, I'll take it. Feed me with one tiny gingerbread and I can teleport you. Are you sure you want to feed me? I don't even know anymore. But yeah, okay. Hasn't stopped me before. Finally out of that place. Staying there makes me feel irky and weird. Though, you didn't feel anything. How? We're back at the previous room. Look, Rai, here comes another puzzle board. That seems to be the only way out. Okay. Are you sure? I don't want a gingerbread? Hmm. No, I don't need to talk right now. Uh oh. Crossword! P. One. Okay, wait. Do you think. Okay. Please remember this for me. Pink, black, yellow, right? Pink, black, yellow. Okay. P I N N O A? Pink, black, Yellow. So, N O A. N O A. N O A. You remember one of the answers to the questions before was black. I do. You remember one. Oh, shoot is yellow, right? And I assume there's... yeah.
N-O-A. Write down three letters. N-O-A. Don't look back there, Demetria. Yeah, Dots is... Run! Okay, run where? Run where? Ha! Run where? Oh, that thing. It's not following us, is it? No, I'm still worried. Right, let's move a bit far farther. What if it's still following us? Forget about it. Stop. Well, do I follow the other exit sign? There's so many exit signs. Wait. Everything's an exit sign. <laughs> um... You know what? Just go straight down. Are we back where we started? I have a bad feeling. We are. Let's go this way. Maybe not? No, there's no way out. The exercise is just the guys. What just happened? Rai, look- look at the letters next to you. Uh, I remember it was exit, wasn't it? Lost. Why is there a timer? Ow. Lost? Rai, do you think the light's getting dim? It, I mean, dim. It's so dark. Oh, look at her. She's so scared. Where do you want me to go? Where's the floor? That's a great question. <gasps> My arms are still here. My legs? Still there too. Not smashed to bits yet. Wait, where's Rai? I'm... I'm a little, a little boat hat now. No longer a boat, just hat. Rai, where are you? I'm on your head. And you know what, actually? We definitely fell together. But Rai's a piece of paper. Could they have floated away? In a horror movie, we could be killed off one by one. Our eyeballs could be replaced by buttons. Our mouths could be sewn up. The skin could be cut off. No, no. Demetria, you've watched too many horror movies. Think harder. Why did I watch them all at midnight? Now I can't recall anything because I fell asleep. Ouch. Why does it hitting the ground hurt at all? But pinching myself hurts so much. I thought it'd be different. Well, I had to face it. Anyway, we have to move forward. Let's not run around in circles. Yes, all right. Being the father in a horror movie is that bad. I've been pretty lucky to make it this far. It's okay. It's okay. I, I didn't vanish. <gasps> you- you have been- <sighs> Never mind. Nothing. Fodder. Ah! Move, move, move! We shouldn't stay here for too long. <laughs> oh. Oh! Oh! 
it's crying! Monster. We should stand closer. Being spotted by that thing could be dangerous. Tap to open your backpack. Double click and press the number keys to check the notes of the con contents of a note. Oh, sorry. Note in the block maze. A note with a doodle on it that was found in the within the block maze. Oops. Diamond, circle, square, upside down triangle. Diamond, circle, square, triangle. Okay, I think I understand. It's, it's marked. I can't even see what's on the other side, though. What does this one say? Oh! It's one of these! Oh, shoot. Dessert shop, selling delicious food made with colorful paints. Well, I'm too poor. Whoa, what is this? Red puffy puff, a puff covered in thick red paint and a colorful candy flake sprinkled on top. Even one bite can be as sweet as a whole jar of candies. Okay. Well, that's quite nice. So I already forgot. It was diamond, circle, square, triangle, right? Okay, let's not go there. Diamond, circle. Am I even in the right? Oh! Square? Well, this is circle. Square. Is that not the right square? I guess not, but... And then we need a triangle. Paying attention? No, you're good. Ow. Ow. Are you the right one? You look like the right one. But you don't want to leave. But I... I don't? <laughs> what do you mean I don't want to leave, huh? Uh-oh. Do you see this? They're giving me way too much. You know what that means. You know if they're giving me this much. What? No, I want to read the... 
I never again want to see these four letters. Let's maybe find another path? <laughs> what do we do? The exit definitely looks super suspicious. Let's take a better look around here first. You got it. Congratulations, you have reached the deepest place inside the box. The exit leads to happiness. The exit will save your life. The exit is ready to let you be a part of it. That sounds so ominous. Congratulations, you're now the exit. I'm guessing that gave me money. Anything around here? No. My, my pinky is starting to be tired. It seems like all the paths are blocked except for the suspicious X at the back. I want to read though. Whoa, it's raining blocks. I want to play with these blocks. <laughs> Sweet idea. We can definitely DIY our own gravestones before we die. Oh! What? Hi? My braids are still intact, aren't they? Well, no worries, it's fine. You should take a break and stretch your fingers, yeah. That's my brain that's barely intact. That's okay. This this is a good time to take a break. I'm just reading. It's so easy to get lost here. Luckily I found you. Are you the one who did this? Where have you been? Me? I was trying to follow you. I have no idea why I can't be teleported. Seems like some cutie is meant to secretly stay in my way. You didn't walk through the exit at the back, did you? Never walk through that exit, ever. Are we gonna die? You will. Then I'll consider it. Huh? Anything else? If not, I'll continue writing my death note. Sure, I still- Good morning, get ready to keep your eyes at least look a little surprise. I want to read the signs? I don't think the surprise is little by any means. Ha ha ha! Not the one out there! Ta da! Two gorgeous balloons! The only way out is to ascend above! These balloons can carry you away! What? Did I hear you wrong or something? You're helping us to get out? Why are you helping us? It's a secret. Just kidding, why do you ask? It's my duty to lead visitors along the right path. Right, the monsters are coming in. Right, right, can you turn into a paper boat again? Let's have to chat, jump into my head. I want to read. No. I wonder if you can even read them. Delirini. Next time, if you leave a doodle, just to borrow my stuff again, I'll... Oh, this is a new person. Oh. Uh, hello? I I'm Demetria, I guess. I'm a human visitor. You... Wait, watch out! There's a black and white! Wait, both of you are visitors? Your face is huge on the screen. I'm right, you seem to have a keen eye. Really? I th I thought screens in your world were also like this. Well, I'm really sorry. I didn't know that we were going to have visitors. Honestly, I haven't seen a visitor in ages. My name is Alios, and but you may call me Al. If Al, if you wish. I'm a magician residing in another area in Confetia. Confetia? Confetia? I truly regret how I treated you. I thought someone else took away my multifunctional levitating, uh, balloons. Uh, it was Delarini who helped us out with those balloons. So you met him. He didn't even tell me. He disappeared again. Fine, that's very Delarini of him. Oh, are you two acquaintances? I guess he caused you a lot of trouble. I've known him since the first day he popped up in Confetia. But I have no idea what's going on inside his head. Popping up sounds suspicious. 
Huh? Oh, that's quite normal here. Every life here is naturally created by the park itself. Oh, uh, so nothing like reproduction? Pardon me? Repro what? No, nothing. I might have heard from Delarini, so Delarini something about rabbit reproduction and Fibonacci numbers. You memorize that by heart, but that's not what I mean. Anyway, he hated this place ever since the first day he was here. But Confetias in its entirely became a bit weird ever since he showed up. Because it was around that time that Abnormal suddenly appeared. They were seeking a solution to fix Abnormal every day. Only Delarini seems to still hope that the Abnormal can devour this place. It's like he's trying to destroy this place. I cannot understand him. But why did he save us? I have no idea what his plan is. However, I think he's using visitors to do things he cannot do himself. Though he is called the guide, he always leads people in the wrong direction. Things only visitors can do. And those were his words. They were his words. He has mentioned it to me before. Sorry, I can't remember that well. Only the protagonist can decide that. I have no idea what he's up to. What happened? What did you just say? Didn't something like this happen before? Anyway, be careful with everything he says. Drama? Protagonist? Anyway, be careful with everything he says. It's like they're resetting them. Should we give cakes to squirrels? Should we give rice quick to squirrels? Why is... Why... Why is my thing glitched? Huh? Squirrels? That's odd. Is that some sort of slang? What? If I made you uncomfortable, please let me know. Who are you talking to? He hide! Nothing! I'm, I'm just testing the machine. I am rehearsing. Do you need to hide the screen to test it? Yes, because it's my um, new magic trick. A whole screen of cards can pop out of the machine. Woo! Whoa! That's impressive! I remember you said that this machine monitors other places, yeah? Didn't Deli say that there was going to be a human visitors here soon? It will be a big problem if there is something else that's black and white, but not in prison. If you see any of that kind of litter that shouldn't exist, keep me informed, understood? Sure, sure, I will tell you. I still need to do some research. You may go first. Oh, and I've come, for, I've come to you for a little favor. Could you help me fix this little heating box? What did you burn this time? A cake. You know, the hard kind of cake full of holes. Oh, and maybe something else as well. You know what kind of show can make use of burnt items? I might have forgotten to take a prisoner out of the incinerator. I suggest using something more normal? No. Executions can't not be entertaining. Oh, finally gone. Who was that? The eccentric warden from my area. Avoid her as much as you can. Everything black and white in Confetti has suffers a gruesome fate, so Rai, you need to be especially careful with her. I have no idea why a visitor would get assigned a black and white costume. That's ridiculous. In short, the attraction ahead of you should be the last one in Button House. Well, this should be good news, right? How I wish I could offer you a gift. Oh, right. This star collectible, this uh, magic card. Take it. I made it myself. It would be worth a great deal of vouchers. Well then, I sincerely look forward to you, to your safe and sound arrival at my area in the future, Rai, Demetria. I wish you a journey as bright as the spotlight on the stage until the very end. He would be the next Tumblr sexy man. 200%. He would be absolutely candidate for Tumblr sexy man. So I guess we're finally back in the button house. Oh lord, if Tumblr was what it used to be. <laughs> if only it was what it used to be after, uh, after all this time. I'm actually hearing a lot of weird stuff uh, coming, even more weird stuff than usual coming out of Tumblr, so... And actually, along with that WordPress, I don't know if you guys, like, keep up with, like, the, the online shenanigans. Not 
like content creator wise, but just content content mm, like the places that houses content. WordPress is going through some weird stuff currently. I don't know why I keep reading this. I already I know every time, but I still like reading it. What is this? Sakura bubble gum can blow up bubbles in the shape of cherry blossom petals. Restores 30 spirit 30 spirit points gradually in 30 seconds. Oh, so it's like over time? I'd rather just have it now with the marmalade cake, but it is cheaper. It is cheaper. I guess I would prefer this one. Okay, bye! You hate Tumblr now? Well, Tumblr is definitely a husk of what it used to be, that's for sure. Anyway, this game is really cute. I don't know how long this is, actually. Let me... I think this is a... Demo? Well, it's only like a chapter one. So I'm afraid I might be like getting close to the end. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm getting- I'm pretty much there. Almost there. Okay, I'm back. But I kind of want to eat the string cheese real quick. I just grabbed it real quick. Want something a little bit salty. Go for it? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Ugh. Mm -mm. I can one hand this, right? I'm assuming this is the right way. I started playing Yakuza like a dragon. Ooh, I want to play that game. What do you think of it so far? Oh, it's a bear with a snow globe. A sea of stars can fit into a music box box's crystal ball. Why can't a teddy bear fit in? Exciting grand finale of the button house. Starry button on flower night. You ride on a paper flying carpet. Through the ocean of button flowers and the starry sky above. Listen to the compelling narration following the trace of the dreamy music box. Enjoy the adventure of innocence final. What? Enjoy the adventure of innocence final in button house. The grand finale. There must be something even more ravenous. There must be even more ravenous monsters waiting ahead. Anyway, look on the bright side. At least this should be the last of our torture. I'm always thinking about how everything happened way too fast. I wasn't ready at all. But we made it this far. I'm just thinking. It might not be that bad to rush in unprepared. Let's go. Let the monsters see how powerful our paper friend Rai can be. That's right. I am strong. For your best experience, you cannot go back once you start the game. Okay. Please board the paper flying carpet in front of you. Our dazzling sorry button flower night carpet ride is about to start. Ooh, it's time. Let's take on the final challenge. This large scene may take a longer time to load. Please wait patiently. Cool. 
I could eat my, my cheese stick at the time. Mm -mm -mm. Are you guys particular about your cheese? I I don't I don't think I'm that picky about my cheese. I've never like properly tried blue cheese or any of like what would be considered exotic. There's some cheeses I despise, like which ones? I feel like mozzarella is like the normal cheese, the norm the normie cheese that like, everybody could easily get into. Goat cheese, mmm. Dear visitor, welcome to the Sorry Button Flower Night. Mm-hmm. Ride the flying paper carpet across the fantastic sea of flowers dancing beneath the starry sky. The buttons on the teddy bears will bloom into colorful flowers. Wait, look. Look at them. They're coming closer. Let us taste your fear. Okay. It's kind of weird, but I... Wait. Why can't I... Oh. This sounds like some Vocaloid song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh! What is that? What are those? Oh! 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 Okay, it's becoming one of these, huh? I see. Oh! Oh, wait, I could have. I could have done the, the thingy with my powers that I completely forgot that I could absolutely do. I think I'm just hurting myself. <laughs> oh no. Uh. Please don't touch me. Oh! I may die. Oh shoot. Pencils? But I'm feeling this music. Okay. Where are these? Oh, oh, oh! Don't, don't touch me. Bad touch. Bad touch. Oh, no! Really bad touch. Oh no! Your spirit collapsed in the embrace of Confetia. Well, you know what? That's that's a solid place to actually die, but. <laughs> Let's do it. Well, let's do it again. This time I'm ready, I think. I was vibing too much with the song. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. No. Wait. Oh shoot. Let me just go ahead and eat. Can I just stay in the menu the entire time? Oh no, I cannot. <laughs> okay. I'm like, I could just beef it with the menu. Oh, 
Okay. Oh. 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 <laughs> That's a pretty big button. that? Who's looking at me? It's a heart? Did you just succeed? You really made it! Your visitors, our tour of the button house has reached, reached the terminal. Shortly after, another trade will something. For final round of broadcast for this park area starts now. Okay. The button house seems to have changed all of a sudden. It, yeah, it definitely has. It is said that the noisy Wheel of Fortune ahead is planning to take a long nap. After losing so many arms and eyes, it finally has found some peace. The carrying dolls notice that all the scary things are gone. Their crying must have worked. In a head-to-head discussion, they've reached an agreement. By the way, there are many dolls carrying colorful candies on the block box. They are preparing a party for the lonely giant doll on the other side. In the button flower field, above the colorful pencils, the toy house full of doodles is sleeping soundly. Or perhaps you have also hit a toy house like this somewhere where you were little. When you were little. It's quite fresh to see such a clear sky within Confettia. The button house suddenly became a warm and sweet place. I can barely get used to it. Just the spinning flower. It looks like a giant eye. Wouldn't it be a symbol of this whole park area? I think it is an eye. There's something on the paper! The sky is surrounded by button flowers. Why does it mention the button flowers around the sky? Actually, I'm wondering why these button flowers only communicated with us through paper notes. We come across so many of them in the park, but all of them only spit out paper notes. Is it because they can't talk and have to draw or write messages on paper in order to communicate with us? That must be a yes. That's odd. Every toy we've met could talk, even the Wheel of Fortune. Why are the button flowers the only ones that can't talk? Well, button flowers, button flowers. There seems to be something special with them. They all spin? 
their stamens are all buttons. They all grow on coloring pencils. They all spin. Oh, that's true. Because they're confused due to the constant spinning. They can't talk. They can't find the right direction to talk at. That doesn't sound right. Well, button flowers, button flowers. There seems to be something special with them. Their stamens are all buttons. They all grow in coloring pencils. Yes, their stamens are all bu- No, no, no. That's fully literal. Otherwise, they wouldn't be called button flowers. They all grow in coloring pencils? Oh, right. Coloring pencils can write and draw, but they can't speak. And the button flowers grow on the tips of the coloring pencils. I might know why that note mentioned the button flowers surrounding the sky. Big button flower. Is the air balloon on the left prepared for us? Oh, maybe I made a correct guess then. Right, let's take that air balloon and look around in the sky. Maybe it wishes to say something, but it can't. It can't utter a single word. So they can only be written down. Those unspoken wishes condensing at the tips of the pencils ended up blooming into such beautiful flowers. All these button flowers blanketing the sky are the words you wish to say, but never could. Oh, that's cute! It's a drawing of us! <laughs> that's adorable. Wow, this drawing! Is it for us? How can Rai be this muscular? Wait, I don't even have hair! Why do, do I have that funny face? I like the way you draw Rai. I like the way you draw Demetria. I like the way you draw me. Good, good. Everyone's happy. Visitor at Flower Sea Terminal, you can now leave Button House. Destination of this train, Confetti Factory. Another area, Confetti Factory. Alright, let's take the train and leave here first. <laughs> Goodbye, Button House. It was it was fun seeing the button sky. Dear visitor, this train is heading to the most iconic area in Confetti, a confetti factory. While you relax on the train, we will briefly inform you about the c confetti factory. Okay. Confetti factory, a place with not only amusing facilities, but also may import may also many important production lines of different po uh, points products. Right, you said you fell into confetti out of nowhere, right? I. How should I put this? It's actually not my first time here. I've been here before. Confetti Factory is by far the most colorful area in Confettia. There you see confetti flying all over the sky, festive balloons and flags decorating transparent pipes. The last time I didn't visit the whole park, I didn't even get through the ticket office or the entrance. Uh-huh. I found myself in a very disturbing place at the, mo the moment I arrived. Okay. I experienced some weird things there. Okay. It was a totally different experience. It was more like an accident. I even returned to the world above shortly after. But I felt like part of my vision is kept here. I frequently see terrible hallucinations like I have never left this place. If it's not dealt with somehow, I'm afraid things will only get worse. The colorful paints are not merely just decorations of this park. There are ingredients and materials of fun toys and delicious food. 
I kept this to myself until now because, honestly speaking, everyone there looks suspicious. Okay. Do you still remember the first time we met and how I ran away from you as fast as I could? Yeah. That's because you might be tired of hearing this a thousand times already, but you're black and white. The area I went to last time also didn't have any color. There are different sub areas in the factory. Every sub area has an assigned theme color pink, blue, and purple. Hmm. I remember there were signs with the names of the areas on them. The area I've been to seemed to be the confetti factory's black area. There is no black area in confetti factory. What? Demetria? Demetria. What does that say? Next stop. Dot dot dot. Demetria, come back. Um, have you guys seen my friend? Oh, good lord. What's happening here? The train door is tightly closed. Like any other corner of this train, the door is meticulously cleaned without a single stain. I see a lot of moths. Like a certain somebody. Oh, goodness. There's way more moths. Um. Confetti factory. Oh. The moths are everywhere now. You seem very interested in this door, don't you? What's so special about this door? Why are you looking so scared? Three, two, one! Rai, what are you waiting for? It's your turn! Don't you remember the rules? You only needed to answer the questions correctly! What is my color? Uh huh? Can't answer- can't you just answer this question but I didn't even get to click! Rai is so cautious of such simple questions! My turn, my turn, my turn! How many blanks are there on my face? Oh, I didn't even get to click! What are you saying? Did you see anything wrong with me? Go right? Let them know? Oh, I can't control my character. I don't want to go right. Should I listen to them? Don't let them know you know. Go right. Go to the corner? Oh, goodness. Saw it. You saw it. I didn't... S I don't... Remember seeing anything actually? Wait, the music is all messed up now. Never mind. Okay. I was pretty sure this is the right one. Go left. You have found the right path. Yeah, but don't let them know you know. 
Is anyone speaking to you? Ow, my eyes. I love soon? The nature of confetia is. I don't know. What does it say? I. L Ill illusion. Oh! Illusion. It's illusion. Oh. Were you listening to me? Or did you just take your time? Shh. Illusion Carnival. Yay! No butterflies are harmed during the performance. Did Demetria put on the confetti a blacklist due to having a hard pronounced name? Illusia, does this person exist? Maybe. Woo woo. Wait, woo woo has a form? Alia was working on designing some shiny new cards. Zip, considering what her next flavor, her next flavor, her next cake should be. The doll in the crystal ball can't draw anymore. Aww. Ticket officers had the most optimal sleeping hours in Confettia. Wheel of Fortune, engaging in rock, paper, scissors top six tournaments with itself every day. Giant doll found another candy while cleaning. Uh, crying doll, holding a concert amidst the cheering hand audience. Flying brain, full of wisdom. Created by Keys. That was a good game. That was really, really, really good. Was it the full game? I think this is just chapter one. So on, I, I checked it out earlier. The, the, the this is the full release of chapter one, but. I haven't- I don't know if there's news of there being another- another chapter to be released. Cute. Congratulations on completing the game. Thank you for playing the first chapter of Illusion Carnival. Future chapters are still in development, so stay tuned. And then if you come across anything, then you can. Thank you again for participating in a slightly chaotic fantasy drama. Thank you. This was great.